Every year this theater group in this city has a new show and it's a new story every year so this year they asked if we could make a promotion film for them that they can use to get more uh, people to come and see the show. So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, and they asked if uh, we could record also the audio uh, from their choir. And for this recording I'm going to use this H6 recorder from Zoom. Uh, this is going to do the job. So uh, the film is going to be shown at uh, YouTube and Facebook. And a lot of people are going to watch this on their cell phones. So I was thinking about doing stereo but I'm going to go for mid side. So I'm going to go for this guy. Um, and I also think I'm going to use uh, mono recording because if people are going to listen on this on their cell phones, well, you don't need stereo. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring this one uh, and I'm going to put this guy on mic stand and try to set it up like so I hear everything that goes on. I'm not sure if we're going to be inside or outside. The show is going to be outside in a park, uh, but I'm not sure where they are doing the rehears rehearsals. So, well, I'm going to bring the camera along, and you can see uh, what's happening. Tomorrow, uh, we're going to do the actual film shooting, and then we're going to edit it, and then we also going to mix and master the sound. So it's, the sound quality is going to be great, and there's also going to be a voiceover on this film. So. That's fun. Outside it's gorgeous, gorgeous weather. Uh, it's sun, it's summer and I love it. Tomorrow it's a filming day, I'm gonna start early in the morning uh, and hopefully there's not too much people because it's some sort, well it's kind of a tourist attraction, uh, the location, so we have to try to be there before the tourists but that's hard because tourists really get up very early. Okay, so now I need to go through everything and listen to what I've got, but I think it's usable because I listened to it when I was there too, so. Uh, the sound's gonna have a lot of, uh, well, it's not room noise, but it's room noise because we were outside, but we had all these buildings around, it's what, backyard, so. It sounds like a backyard, but that's how it's supposed to sound, so. But I need to check the audio and see if it's usable. It's filming day and we're gonna pop over to the location and we're gonna record. Um, so I think there is gonna be five, yeah, around five actors that's gonna be dressed uh, up as vegetables. So let's go and see what happens. And after that, we're gonna edit the film uh, and we have to uh, also do a voiceover uh, but that is happening tomorrow, I think. So uh, everything is gonna come back, uh, come together real nice. Because now it's time to edit the film. So I've done editing. So I use Final Cut Pro. Um, so I've um, got their uh, logo and also I have found the clips that I really liked um, and put them together. Uh, under here you can see the sound. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this over to Logic and work with it there. So here you have the sound of the choir and you have the voiceover. With the picture, I haven't done too much. The camera was great um, and it was sunny, beautiful weather, so I didn't have to do a lot. I took down exposure a bit um, and I've 
added a lot uh, to the pictures so to gain some some vibe because this is gonna have a vibe from the 70s uh, because that was uh, when everybody went outside and have all these revolutionary songs that is song and so this is this is trying to get, have some humor about that okay so I have the movie here and I have the audio from the choir there and I also have a voice over here okay uh, so when I uh, hit play I'm gonna see the video and so on the voice or artist is gonna be like a movie trailer so uh, he um, had he, he put his voice pretty low uh, and like um, and was talking very consistent into the microphone. So this is the voice of a talent, he's an actor, so he knows his job. Uh, and he was standing pretty close to the microphone too, to get uh, this proximity effect that we really wanted this time. And I've tweeted uh, this vocal uh, to be uh, very compressed and I also boosted a bit in low end to get that radio uh, well, movie trailer voice. Um, so that's a bit of the point here. To do this, I've used a bit of Slate plugins. I, I used the preamp, a channel strip. Uh, um, I haven't done, yeah, I took out everything below 80 and another preamp and revival, uh, giving a bit left in the top and the bottom. Uh, and also this time I use Isotope Nectar too. And here you can see the EQ curve that I made. Uh, I got a significant boost here in the low end and also in the top. So that is uh, the main reason to get that um, really uh, trailer sound. I've got a de-esser and also a pretty heavy compression uh, with a ratio of 17 here. And I did it really easy. I have tweaked these knobs because here you can see voiceover dialogue, intense movie trailer. So that's a preset that I went uh, started with. But I have tweaked uh, because you have to do that to fit your sound. And then I have another EQ here, uh, but this is on the master. So this is giving uh, a bit of that left you need in the top. Uh, so this is the high frequencies. Um, yeah, and I have a multiband compressor and tape machine and a limiter. And also, I told you about the sound from the location where we uh, recorded the choir. I had a lot of uh, room noise from uh, the backyard, and that was pretty okay. But there was a bit of noise, a bit of uh, air conditioning noise from one of the houses, and something that I needed to treat. On this, I need to use a dialog denoiser. So I'm using here the RX dialog denoiser from Isotope. I think that is brilliant on these tasks because it it really gives you a very good result, and you don't have to tweak too much of the buttons. Uh, and also, I have done a little bit lifting with the revival, a bit compression. I've also given the song some tape machine. That's just to give a little bit of vibe. And also I've used a reverb. I used a reverb on the choir, just to give it a bit more bigness, I think. Uh, but it, it's a short reverb, so it doesn't uh, show that much. And also I have it on 15%. Um, I should have, usually I make an aux that the reverb's on, but in this case I just put it on the track because uh, to save time so but it worked film is done customer is happy we are happy we do a lot of this uh, but these are the smallest productions that we do we do bigger productions uh, and also we can do with more cameras and stuff but basically just it's fun to bring you along I'm gonna do more of these films uh, where I bring you along it could be audio like the, the last film I did that was a violin player coming into the studio I'm also gonna do more of these tutorials and like I've done uh, earlier but I really like this where I can bring the camera and, and just put it there and I can work and you can see how we work if this is your first visit to this channel please hit the subscribe button uh, like this video and more videos are gonna come out. So thank you for watching. I see you guys later. Take care Now you know your body
Don't give a darn if you don't pay rent. Sky is high, you 